Today, we're back on Need for Speed Heat with a brand new CMI swap. And you can instantly tell straight away there's a couple of issues with this machine. And that's, that's good. How is that good? Well, number one, the exhaust is on the side, which actually could be pretty cool if the back box wasn't absolutely massive. And can you spot the other issue? It may take... A yeah, let me change camera. Here's the... <laughs> the wing is in the way. It's fine, though, because that means you already know that there's another cool wing coming. So that is the bolt of this CMI swap. I love these. I'm grateful for the community that keeps making them. But this one is very cool, and it gives me an excuse to drive the Silvia again. Okay, let's get started with the wang, because you know that's the best piece of the whole build. Let's have a look and see. The only one that actually fits is this boy right here, which has clearly been scaled to, I would say, the absolute limits, but that would be like, it could have been bigger. But that's not why I'm here. There's a few things that I'll probably miss. There was no real description along with this car. And honestly, this is such a cool car. Of the Sylvia's, this is easily my favorite. Let me know down in the comments, which is your favorite? And do we have any for- No! Those are the lights we get. We got fender upgrades. We can have a nice wide body kit. Oh, you already know we go with the rocket bunny. I'm gonna be boring, at least with the fenders, and go for the rocket bunny. Then for the front bumper, the only the one fits. But- this is sick. We have the fenders that don't fit right. It, it makes it look like a race car, okay? Through the side skirts then, because clearly it's not going to fit properly. And let Right. I guess we're going to do that. It's the first time I'm actually using those horrible wing... I, I hate them so much. They're disgusting. Diffuser. I'm... Oh, do we need a diffuser for a car that doesn't actually have an exhaust at the back? Um, We're going to... We're gonna, why not? Oh... You know what? That's nice. I wish there was a non-carbon option, but I'm going to go for that. Okay. The, the main piece, the, 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 the set point, the, the reason you are here is, of course, the exhaust, which we actually need to go on here. And you're like, what? It's not changing the exhaust, deal. You know? Pretty obvious why, ain't it? Because it's on the damn side. So you can actually go for a big, crazy side-mounted exhaust if you want to. Pretty mental. But we want... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, we can't use that diffuser. <laughs> that option basically just ruins the whole thing. I'm sorry, diffuser, you gotta go. We gotta have something that doesn't ruin the damn exhaust, please. Oh my god, it's not the diffuser. I figured it out. It was the diffuser. We fixed it. We just gotta pick a diffuser that doesn't ruin it. That's acceptable. Right, let's get down business. As I turn the engine on, oh, you're like, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is so sick. I need this in my life. Listen, why is this not available on some of the mod options? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot the sleepy eyes. And sleepy eyes with a color. Oh, my God. I don't know what to go with. I, I will end up with maybe a bit of yellow. A bit of yellow might be me. Can we actually put, we could put a splitter on as well. That just seems silly. Now I just gotta get that fitment right. We've already lowered it a little bit. I'm pulling a little bit of camo around there. Just, just a little bit spicy, but you know, and make it fit a little nicer. Raw meal room because that will give us constant, constant pops. We can actually customize the color of it too. Now I only, I, oh my God, I, I don't have yellow. Are you joking me? That would have been so good, but maybe a bit of red. Oh my god. And then blue. Oh, the green even. Actually, the green. I don't know what to go for. The green or the blue. We'll go for the green backfire. We can also choose the nitrous color as well. Which, uh, again, I'm probably going to go for the green. Oh, only nine engines. But we could put the forged Skyline engine in there. Or oh, the VR38. I don't know. Forged Skyline. These stats are insane. This is going to be a mental mental drive oh <laughs> all right the best bit oh my wait he's doing blue and green i picked green i don't know if i'm gonna complain about that though because that is pretty damn sick this is something we need to see by the way all wheel drive as well I, I don't know what the tires are this mod changes the tires like crazy to the point where i don't know what the hell tire does what now anymore the handling's changed everything's different I don't know what to take anymore, but all-wheel drive, Sylvia, with insane speed on power, the flames at the top. Oh! 
already breaking the speed barrier of what is possible world. We are on miles per hour, of course. I ain't on no damn euros to the point where you don't know what speed I'm doing. I do it properly. But this thing, oh, it's so good. I, I, honestly, could have told me that it was a Skyline and I'd believe you. It drives like a dr Oh my God, look at the height of those flames. <gasps> That is insane. I don't know why we don't have mods like this. This is something they could easily do. If anything, they would be cool to have race car style mods in Need for Speed from the go. This is something that I think would be super simple. Is there any cars that actually have mods like that? I don't know if there's any car in the game that has hood exhaust. I think, what about, no, the Hunicorn had side exhaust. Why is that not a thing? That's a thing that's done all the time. It should be a thing in the game. Boosted again. A, a couple of you guys actually told me. The railway. 173? What the hell? Oh! 173 miles an hour from the Sylvia? There's still so many faster cars that we haven't tried. I thought the RSR would be a good try first, but 173 like it's bloody nothing? I'll take it. Where do we go then? the railway. Let's see what proper speed we can get. I don't think we're going to beat what we just got. It's been so damn long. Is it under here? That's... My <laughs> yes, of course. I know we can access it from here. Oh! I think I may be onto it. it no! What? I swear, I'm looking at it on the map. Wait. Oh, balls. This is... Oh! I swear, I've been playing this game for so... I'm such a moron. Here we go. Let's try and leave the map. <laughs> I think I might actually just kill this car before I actually manage to get the top speed. Right, let's do it. <laughs> Finally on the track. I mean, the rail track. I don't know if the speed is... I was going to say, I don't know if the speed is going to work. The handling has been changed a little bit. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, just use it as a, as a come to a corner. That's a brilliant idea. How long is this damn tunnel? <laughs> let's go. Let's go. 173. I'm a train. Oh. <laughs> I am literally a damn train. What the frick? Can a train go that fast? I don't know if a train to go that fast, at least in the UK or the US. Oh, I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know much about trains. This ain't no damn train channel. I just can't go over this. Look. It's so ridiculous. I need more mods like this. This is something I wouldn't even thought of, but drift cars for days have mods like this, and it's a huge part of Need for Speed. So why do we not have, at least from the top of my head, any cars or many cars with crazy mods like this? I want more side exits, more hood exits, and it's so easy. You need, all you've got to do is like paint black where it, it gets placed. Super easy. How about like removing headlights to replace them with ducts on one side? All of that would just add to the flavor of small little bits that could just finish off a car. See, normally I don't show you this time of day. This is literally my favorite one they've come up with. It just looks incredible. I don't normally show this because, not, you know, the other one's brightly colored, looks more graphically like, oh, this one to me, I love it. So I think personally from, from what I see, it's a little bit inspired by the boy Gzilla. At least I played it gzilla's version of it first and i love it either way both both teams deserve mwah. it looks so good i personally would love a game to look like this all the time but you know we've got to have some bright colors and stuff old kiddies <laughs> but this is just the mod that keeps on giving i i really really hope that the community can keep making cool things like this for me to try out. The wing for the whole video has been overshadowed. I hardly even mentioned it. It's not the best I've seen. I've seen better. But that's okay. Because we got... Uh, we got... Oh! We got this. Come on, we need bigger flames. We need like big... Gotta let it pop. Big flames from the top. Come on, all my stupid mods like this. And I'm gonna keep making Need for Speed Heat content. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you know, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, my friends. Peace.